guys. Today I wanted to show you my normal bath routine. I've recently found a lot of new toys and toys, tools and shampoos that I really like. So I figured I would introduce you to those and show you how to use them, uh, why I use them and stuff like that. Um, so first thing you want to do before bath time is make sure your area is totally ready to go. Um, so what you need is a tub. I would highly suggest getting one of these. It is way easier on your back and on the dog to use one of these. The bathtub doesn't have a lot of good uh, traction for them, so uh, they might slip, get uncomfortable. Um, also, it's a lot more comfortable for your back to use this. Um, and also, they come with these straps in here, so if your dog does have a tendency to jump out, you can strap them in so they're secure. Um, so, highly suggest getting one of these. Um, the other thing I recently found is this hose attachment. Um, so, what it does is you put the shampoo in here and it mixes the shampoo with the water and really uh, it's really good at getting the shampoo all the way to the skin uh, it's a lot better and faster than using your hands like the old-fashioned way um, so i'll demonstrate this today uh, i really like those i'll put the link in the video description as always but if you don't have one of those um, i just use an empty bottle i dilute all the shampoos um, most of the ones they come with dilution instructions um, if they don't, I would still dilute them. Uh, it saves you money and they're concentrated enough you can dilute them. Um, so empty bottle will do just that. Just put the shampoo in there with water, shake it up, mix it up, have that ready for your dog. Um, if they, if you haven't gotten a bath in a while or if they're shedding really bad, what I'll normally do is I'll blow them out first. So I've got my dryer over here um, and I'm going to give Aubrey a bath today and she's shedding really bad. So I will show you how to blow them out first and then we will go into the bath. Um, so have all your shampoos ready, um, tools like I mentioned, a towel obviously you need that ready. Um, and once you're all set up then you can bring the dog. So I'm gonna go grab her. All right so here I have Aubrey and like I said she's shedding really bad so I'm gonna use my force dryer first on her. Um, so I've got my dryer here and you also need your slicker brush since this is the best brush to get the um, under coat out. You're not even close to being done. Stay. So you just go through with the brush and the dryer and getting all the undercoat out. The loose dead undercoat. You can see it all flying around already. But you want to get this out first because it's obviously less hair for you to wash. But also having that in there it makes it really hard for the shampoo to get all the way down to the skin. So you can get this dead coat out first. It'll make them a lot cleaner. And uh, periodically you'll need to um, clean out your brush because there'll be a lot of hair in there. That's why I keep just spraying or aiming the dryer at the brush. Quick way to get the hair out of there. Yeah, that felt good. All right, so once you've gotten a lot of the undercoat out that way, then you can start the bath. Got hair everywhere. That hair is all over my house. All right, so the cool thing about this is you can turn it on soap or just water. So right now, obviously, we want to get her just wet, so I've got it turned to just water. So we will fully soak them first. So I always save the head till last. I don't even get it wet until I'm ready to wash it. Um, two reasons. First reason is it's obviously going to make them want to shake and I don't want to get wet, so <laughs> I save that for last. Um, also, it's obviously the most uncomfortable part for them, so I kind of save that for last for that reason as well. Alright, so now she's totally wet other than her head, so I can turn this to soap now. So I'm going to turn it off, turn it to soap. And then this goes pretty fast. Um, I might do two times with her, but you'll see she starts to get really sudsy. 
This gets it all the way to the skin really well. I forgot to mention the soap that I have in here is the Isle of Dogs. Oh God. The number 20 uh, Royal Jelly Shampoo. That's what I use on all my show dogs. So now it's starting to run out. You can see the bottles start to get more clear. So it's gonna be just water here in a minute. And now it's primarily just water. It's pretty clear. But that was extremely fast. Um, just using the hose to shampoo the dog, do the work for you. So I highly suggest getting one of those. So I do the body with that shampoo. And then I'm actually going to take this off and put a different shampoo in here. I like the, um, don't, oh, you're awful. I like the Plum Silky stuff for the feathers. This makes it really um, soft and it smells amazing. If she wasn't showing soon, I would do her whole body in this. But I fill that up with a new shampoo and then just put it right back on here. It would help if I would turn the right way. Okay. So now I'll just target her feathers and her, her mane. And also the um, underbelly. Basically anywhere you want the hair to be super soft and flowy. I would use this shampoo. So I'll turn it back to just water to give her a good rinse. So at this point, if you need to use whitening shampoo, this is where I apply it. Um, this is the Chris Christian White on White. Um, she doesn't need any, so I'm going to skip this step on her. But if you need to, this is where I would apply this. Um, you can apply it to the feet, to the mane, wherever you need some whitening. I'm just follow the instructions. You're supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes, so that's why I apply it now. Wait, um, I also apply the conditioner right now. So I'm also using the Plum Silky Plumtastic Moisturizing Conditioner. Please don't shake. <laughs> um, so I apply this to the same place as I just applied that shampoo. Um, basically all the feathers, britches, underbelly. I do apply this the um, old-fashioned way, so to speak, uh, just because I want to, I don't want the water to dilute it more. I want to use this um, as concentrated as possible for the conditioner. So I've got that on all the feathers. I'm also going to put some on her chest. I don't apply the conditioner everywhere because they're not supposed to be super soft. Um, the standard calls for medium texture. Um, so I don't apply it to the body. I only apply it to the areas that would be okay to have it soft. Um, in case you're wondering why I wasn't doing that. But while we have it on there, um, it's best to let it sit for a while. And also if you're trying to whiten, uh, you'll have to let that sit anyways. So at this point, I'll use my old pin brush and I'll just comb through the areas that I conditioned. What this does is it more evenly spreads it throughout all the hair, but also while the hair is wet, you can easily work out any uh, mats you have in there. So this is one of those areas that mats up really easily you can kind of start to loosen those up while it's wet and has conditioner on it. 
So I start at the bottom. You probably can't see it because of the tub, but start at the bottom and slowly work up. Also called um, line brushing. Make sure you can see the skin when you're doing this, when you're line brushing. That way you know you've got like all the mats and tangles out and the conditioner is evenly spread throughout. If the mats are really bad, this um, probably still won't work for you. So, I mean, I would still attempt to do this, but if you're spending a long time working on a mat, you might have to cut it out. Um, so at that point, you will need to just rinse the conditioner out and then in the drying stage, cut it out if need be. So we've got those brushed out. You can also do the under belly. Hey, don't do that yet. And I'm just brushing out the feathers. Did you get that out of your system? Ay, ay, ay. It does feel good. It's extremely hot, so. <laughs> Feels good to have her shake. All right, so after those are brushed out, um, you technically need to wait 10 minutes for the coloring or the whitening. Um, so you probably have to wait a little longer, but since I didn't put that on her, I am free to rinse everything out now. Just kidding, I stepped a step, skipped a step. This is where I would do her head while the conditioner is still sitting in the rest of the areas. So for this, you want to hold their head up and as much as you can avoid the eyes. Although you do have to get them wet, so I would just do a quick spritz. But hold the water, hold their head up so the water isn't running into their eyeballs. Um, and then this way I also do the old way with the shampoo. This is where you want to get really good behind the ears because that is the area that gets really greasy easily. Um, so when you're trimming that, you really want that to be grease free. Also, I do actually turn the ears inside out and just get the outside leather. What you could do is put cotton balls in the ears if you're worried about getting shampoo or water inside the ear. So you put cotton balls in there first. Although I will say that does have a tendency to make them want to shake. So just be careful around the ears. And then the eyes. They do have um, tear-free shampoo. If you want to use that, you can do that as well. And then instead of like putting the hose directly in their ear, I'm kind of using my fingers to get the shampoo out of that area. And then right after the head's done, I always let them shake because that's immediately what they want to do. And I kind of trains them that that is the time to shake. And then once they do that, I'm done with the head and can rinse the rest of the body and they shouldn't shake again until we're done. And then just towel dry them, get the face really, really well. That way you have less dry, drying time on the face, since they will not like that. The face and ears really well. And then I have another video for how to dry your dog, so I would highly suggest watching that one now. Um, the best way to dry them is using the force dryer you saw me use in the beginning. Um, it's a super fast way. Um, if you're showing your dog, that's really the only way to do it to get the straight hair. 
So yeah, that's it. Good girl.